I've just made something that's worked. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, where a very average scratch builder, me, tries to scratch build stuff without sticking his fingers together too often. In fact, I haven't done this for a while, let's just do a quick check on the scoreboard. And, yep, I'm currently at minus or negative nine days, where I've consistently managed to glue my fingers either together or onto plastic. Thank God this isn't an OnlyFans page, and I'm let you guys work that one out. Okay, so what are you building today, I don't hear you ask. Well, quick backstory, way back in 1984, Ghostbusters the movie was first released. Instantly loved the film, then flash forward to 1987, a slightly older me spots Ghostbusters toys. And one toy always stuck in the back of my mind, it was the firehouse that you poured slime into the top and it slimed the Ghostbusters toys underneath. Of course, I wanted one, but life and girls got in the way. Fast forward to present day, and even though life and girls are still in my life, I scratch build in my spare time and thought, why not? I'll try and make my own Ghostbusters firehouse with slime. So you know what that means. Let's start scratching that build. So I bought some 5mm foam board and peeled the paper off one side, drew some badly shaped windows on it and cut them out. I then used the first one as a template for the second one and then I had two sides with really bad windows. Yep, even I'm going to say they're really bad windows. Then it was onto the door which was simple, I just used a plastic container for the arch, cut that out and then scored some lines uh, into the foam board to start working on the brickwork. And yes, you guessed right, the bricks took ages to do, but at the end of the day, I think we're well worth it. Then to add texture to the foam board and where I've done the bricks, I just rolled up some tin foil and just rolled it all over the foam board and that gave it the uh, correct consistency texture that's the word I'm looking for the texture over the foam and all that won't show up until the painting stage but do it now then you don't have to do it later I grabbed some coffee stirrers broke them in half to make a door with an opening that looked like a mouth because I'm going to say that the firehouse has become possessed uh, this was so hopefully the slime would run out of the doorway and onto the pavement then I just used my snips just to take all the excess coffee stirrers off the foam board and to make it look more like a door now I'd worked out that because the slime was coming down it needed uh, some sort of channel so I just put edging around the um, the opening of the door uh, so then once I put the backing on it that the slime had just one way to go and that was straight down and straight out through the door then I'd realized I'd made the side panels way way too big so it was just a quick simple task of chopping them down the middle And it was time to uh, glue together the um, the base of uh, of the firehouse, and it was just a simple use the uh, low temperature hot glue gun and just uh, pinned everything into place until it had set. And if I can just remind you to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know every time I uh, upload a video, which is currently uh, every Friday, um, that would be great. Thank you. So the bottom of the firehouse was done and it was on to the sides with the windows. And again, I just chopped down some uh, coffee stirrers to make the frames for the windows. 
next I use some um, Army Painter XPS foam that I can actually get over here. Uh, just cut it down, made some uh, grooves in it to represent uh, the pathwork, and then roughed it all up with uh, the tin foil technique. I cut out various size um, squares from a cereal box uh, just to do the edging along the firehouse just to simply cover up all the bad uh, mistakes that I'd made. Then it was onto the one piece that I wasn't looking forward to, the big window uh, right above the um, firehouse door. Uh, so I just did the same technique again, used a uh, container to cut around to make the arch and then just um, cut everything else out with the hobby knife. Then for the curve of the arch, I just use some uh, cardboard or cardstock. And then again, I'm just simply putting a little um, edging around the window. Uh, so then the plastic will stick onto the back of that. So there was a gap in between the front window, uh, just simply so then the slime could slide down. Bear in mind, all this had been worked out in my head. I hadn't written anything down. So I was just going off a gut feeling and well, basically hoping for the best. Then I had to try and source the plastic. I knew I couldn't use uh, thin plastic because of the weight of the slime, um, but I couldn't use too thick a plastic because of the size of the model. Then I found the lid for a container and just hoped that the good lady doesn't realize that one of her containers is missing a lid. If she does, I'll say the cat ate it and uh, deny all knowledge like all us men do. It was just the right thickness. Um, so what I did was just traced around the uh, window frames and then used a pair of scissors just to cut out the, uh, the plastic. Once all the plastic was cut out, it was just a quick uh, dab of hot glue and just stuck into place. Now this is the science part, so pay attention. Um, there's the plastic and as you can see, I've made another channel and made like a sandwich. So there is a gap in between. So hopefully the slime will go through. Unfortunately, at this point in the build, I didn't know if it was going to work because I was still waiting for my slime to arrive from Amazon. But if I've got all my measurements, <laughs> what measurements? If I've got all my uh, design right, then hopefully it will work. And then it was just a matter of putting the top piece onto the bottom piece. It was at this point I thought the windows were looking a little bit bare. So what I did was I just cut out some cardboard and uh, hot glued some uh, um, like uh, tacky needles, um, sewing needles uh, onto the cardboard to make it look like it was a pulley. Uh, so it was like a blind, stuck them on the inside. But then I also got some um, table grip, which was clear and also put that on the inside just to diffuse the inside so you couldn't actually see inside the top building. And if you guys understood what I just said then, you're better than me. Then once all the windows had been done, it was just hot glue onto the bottom bit of the firehouse. And I was nearly there. I'll speed this next bit up, but basically I just add the trimming um, along the bottom, add some more brickwork, and then um, start the paintwork. Once all the brickwork was done, it was then uh, a painting time and I used Mod Podge uh, mixed with black um, acrylic paint uh, just to seal everything in. And while I was painting, the uh, foreman came just to check things over 
And that's my cat, Charlie. Say hello, Charlie. Yeah, now, there's your 10 seconds of fame. Now get off the, uh, get off the desk. All right, you sit there and I'll work around you. Good boy. So I used my airbrush to start off with just to uh, do a light coat of grey and then went around the top and uh, started painting in the brickwork. Because the bricks aren't all one colour, uh, I think I used about three to four different uh, shades of brown just to uh, make the bricks sort of look uneven and uh, lived in basically. Uh, then I went in with some uh, grey just for the uh, stone edging and then randomly went around the entire building and just filled in uh, different bricks with different uh, shades of uh, brown and grey just to make some of the brickwork stand out more. And then I just went over with um, uh, a black wash just to bring out some of the stuff. Um, added a little for sale sign because I remember there was a for sale sign on the firehouse in the original movie That might just be me. It might be a Mandela effect and then I needed the front sign which I rustled up quickly and There it was there was the Ghostbusters house that I'm just gonna glue into place And once that's done the build is done itself well apart from one thing the slime I'm talking of slime. Let's pick more. 